I definitely broke this one and this one. What's up guys, my name is Chase and today we're gonna to be checking out the TRX4 to see if it is a tow truck. If we can tow a trailer with it or if we can't. I might just have to buy the glorified Sin F450 here in the near future to see how that actually works because I don't know. I've used my buddies a while back. He built his like crazy. We're gonna check it out. I just got some ball hitch uh, studs in the mail and we're gonna be throwing them on the hitch that I printed and I'll be showing that here real soon. And we're gonna be testing the limits of this truck. We're gonna see if it literally can tow a trailer with some weight on it. I don't know if it can, it's a rock crawler, but it does have a low gear and a high gear. So we're about to find out. But first, let's throw this hitch together, put a new ball on it. I already had a ball on it, it was too small. We're gonna see if there's any difference. If not, I don't know why this uh, hitch mount that I bought it's so big because I can't find a ball to fit it. So hopefully this is the right one. Let's get to it. Okay. Okay. First of all, this is the ball hitch mount that I was talking about. It's a little hitch mount that I bought off Amazon. I, it never told me what size ball goes with it. But I printed this triangle. Well, was a triangle. And then I flattened the top. And I ran that through and ran a bolt through it like that. And put a nut in it. It fit perfectly in there. I think these are a size eight or 10. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I built it, but this is a tilt trailer. It's huge. I printed my own axles. I printed my axle mounts and it's got leaf springs. So it does have suspension. And just to show you, it does tilt. It's already got the hinges on it. Right there, focus. Yeah, on both sides. And it's got a perfect gap in between. And I have hook mounts right there that I printed. And this this trailer is big. I, I, I oversized it for some reason. It's like a 15 instead of a 13. Don't ask me why, I don't remember why, but it's nice, it's clean. Let's test out these balls that I got right here. Handy dandy knife. Cut this package out at the top like that. There, there we go. Okay, here they are right here. And we're gonna open these as well. That's what we do instead. Okay. These already look a lot bigger than the ones I had. I don't know what size I had on that hitch receiver I made. So, this is the ultimate test. If it slides through, then it's too small. I think we got it, boys and ladies. I think we found the ball. Right, let me take this apart, and I'll bring it right back. We got it. This is great. This is awesome news. I've been looking for this for a month. I don't know why. I was told it was a 5 millimeter ball, that 5.5 that I had on there, but it turns out it was a 4.8, I think. So... This one fits perfectly. It don't pop out. Excuse my nasty hands. I work outside so they get tore up. But yeah, awesome. This is, this is great. So now, now we can tow, finally. But first we have to hook the ball to the hitch that I printed. And we're going to be hooking that to the truck as too. I created a truck mount. So let me show you that hitch. Let me get it out this box right here way too much stuff in here i actually just moved back in here i would show you in this box but i don't want you seeing all my goods aha we found it we found it we found it sorry if i'm being weird i feel like it's better if the audience can connect with me because if i'm boring who's gonna watch no, nah. but on a real note, here's the hitch that I uh, printed. And it turned out very good. I printed out the first one. It was a little, for my body anyway. I mean, it would probably work for anybody else's body. But for my body, it didn't really fit because it was too, too uh, high up. So let me grab this truck off the shelf. We're going to be throwing this hitch on here. And put the ball on it and we're gonna see how it performs. All right, so 
This is the hitch that I did print CBRC on it. Just throw some little nice touches to it. Turned out very good. I didn't do pre drilled holes just because I figured I can drill those with a drill in the spot that I want. But still a prototype. So I was thinking, now hear me out. I was thinking most people ain't going to have the same body as me. So you slide this in there and it, I mean, it fits perfectly. There's no wiggle, nothing. This right here is all the way forward. See, with this like this, well, hold on, I'll just show you. If I can do this with one hand. Yeah, snaps on there with the magnet, okay. See how that's flush with the body? Like, I'm talking perfect. Well, Sometimes people don't like that, so they want to be able to see it. So if you pull it out there, that hitch is flush with that body, like against that body, and the whole hitch is showing like it would on a regular truck. Of course, I did drill a hole there. We got to put a screw through there to keep this from coming out. But I got my little chain mount, uh, chain hook holes, and freaking awesome hitch. I just randomly thought of one night. We're gonna be testing the heck out of this. I bet you've never seen one. But, uh, yeah. Imagination can do a lot of things. We're gonna be hooking all this up, putting this new ball on here. Okay, that's a little four. Actually, hold on, let's measure this real quick. This might be a five, it's just not a 5.5. .5. And if it is a 5.5, .5, I don't know why it never worked. Let's see if I can do this. Nope, it is a 4.5 ball. That's what I figured. I thought it was a 4.8, but it's a 4.5. Not gonna work. So let's take this all back off. And you gotta love magnetic body mounts. This comes off so easy when the body don't get hooked to anything, of course. We're gonna pull this off. And now we're going to take this ball off and put the bigger one on. Is that for a little tool kit? It might fit. Yes, that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. We should be able to twist it off with our hand. We shouldn't need no screwdriver or anything. Take this one off. It's very long. There we go. That's the old one. Oh, shoot. Let me take this new one out of this trailer. Oh, I forgot it was in there. We got this one off. New one. Yes. Threads are the same. Yep, they are, okay. The new one did come with a whole Allen in the top. Which is actually very smart. Now we're just gonna screw this in like this. I gotta hold it because of course it bounces. We got it. It's done. It's right here. It's freaking cool. And uh, yeah. This looks really good. I like it. it. matches the nut on it. So, let's slide this thing in here and get the holes drilled for it. Alright, dang, I need to clean this thing. We're going to slide this buddy in here like so. It's a perfect fit. I think we're going to be drilling mine like right there. It looks good. It looks good. All right, so me and Lonnie had to take a quick trip to Mooresville yesterday, and we went to Hobby Town, and I needed some beadlocks because the ones I ordered, they ain't going to come in until June or July, and can't wait that long, so we picked up these extra speeds right here, the 1.9s, and I have aluminum beadlocks on the front and the back. I heard that's very good, so yeah, because my last ones were trash, but hopefully these are really good about opening them. We're going to put them together and put them on the truck so we can hook this trailer up and tow for the first time. Oh, wrong side, dummy. Already kind of liking it. They individually wrapped it. It's 
That way you don't get all the screws mixed up. You know it goes with which. Well, let's get one of these out of here. Really nice quality so far. I like it. Stiff. Kind of heavy. Going to give the truck a little bit more weight for sure. And extremely shiny. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I'm trying to get the light. Yeah, right there with the light. Alright, let's put the tires on. Alright, it took about an hour. Me and Lonnie finally got it. We had some problems some technical difficulties with one of them but all in all we're good i need to put the center caps on but can't do that till i put them on the truck looks really good with these mickey thompson's they look amazing they're dirty i've used them before on some other wheels but needed upgrade there's the one that got a little screwed up the head popped off the screw somehow i think it was a bad screw but i'm sure i could probably back it out with something or Something. We'll get it. We'll make it look good. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let's throw them on a truck. And we're about to do the ultimate test with the trailer and see how this truck does. All right, we have the wheels on. Got the wheel stud covers. Also, the center caps, whatever you want to call them. Looks really good, actually. Ignore all the fingerprints on the body. I ain't cleaned it be the first time i run it here in a few got the hitch on it's bolted on it's solid it's uh ready to roll now we'll take the trailer out there hook it up and put a car on it and we are going to test this thing all right we got it out here we got the trailer on it yes this trailer is like massive but yeah this might actually be an eighth scale trailer i accidentally measured wrong it's the measurements I was actually given, so uh, don't blame me. But it's actually looking really good. Body, wheels look amazing, especially. Let's see if I can get you the picture of them. Yeah, them traction bars down there. Looks really good. So we're going to see what it can do. We got suspension on the trailer. Here we go. All right, for the ultimate test, we're destined to break something right here. I'd say that's about eight, 10 pound brick right there. Solid all the way through. We're pretty low. It's pushing on the wheel, the tires. So we're gonna see. I don't think this stop motor can handle it. That low gear should be able to crawl right through. Let's see. <laughs>
Well, she's done. I don't know if the battery's dead. If it's overheating. I'll tell you now, I, I wish I had a heat reader because that motor is on fire right now. It's hot. Just fitting right here, it is it's just as hot as the motor. I know that's probably not good. It tried to it tried to start melting right there. This was sitting on the motor. But uh yeah, she ain't moving. And hitch held up amazingly. But yeah, we we broke the trailer. We broke broke both leaf mounts on this side. I don't know what that's about, but we'll figure it out. This is the first time I use this trailer and this body and these wheels. Not the tires are old, but what'd you say, Lonnie? You think you think it's done pretty good for what it is? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I think it done. I think it done excellent. I, I honestly could have swore this was gonna break, be the first thing to break. It outperformed. It took every bump. It's actually, I think it, it worked better than the solid hitch. Upon further investigation, we couldn't disconnect the battery and we melted it. We melted the connector to the battery. And uh, yeah, she's toast. We're gonna have to put a new connection on that. No bueno. This is unscathed, but I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and change the outlet on the TRX4 as well. I don't like that fitting, never have. All right, uh, we got the trailer unhooked from the truck. I definitely broke this one and this one. I met them solid in the first place, which was a very bad idea because when it flexes, it pushes out. You just seen it happen there and this one pushes out too. So I think I'm gonna redesign. I'm gonna make this have a pin that goes through like the real ones where it can turn and flex and do all the things it wants to do and like just like that right there that way this wheel can bounce up all and down all it needs and we'll be good i'm impressed with these axles i printed they are holding up good and i've hit a couple rocks and stumps with it i thought i'd break them in half but all in all doing very well all in all i think that was a really good run we we thought it was going to break immediately. I never, I've never tested those axles on that trailer. I never had even pulled that trailer. So I didn't know what it was going to do, honestly. And the hitch, perfect. I freaking love it. It floats with every bump, with everything that happens, it floats. I thought that was going to break, but I had a little, little bit of confidence in it because it doesn't have stress on it like a solid hitch. But all in all, great run. Definitely gonna be a part two because I didn't build those leaf spring brackets beefy enough apparently. But also I did put more weight than I actually thought that was because the TRX4 only weighs 10 to 15 pounds. That brick was definitely 20 or something. It was pretty heavy. It's pretty, the camera don't do justice how big it was because that trailer is huge as well. Please come back for a part two if you want to see this thing actually pull something. And I'm going to add a little bit more weight to the front of that truck, of course, because it wouldn't stay on the ground, so it was hard to steer it. But we're going to actually have another truck on there. And who knows, we might be doing a giveaway in the future. That's going to be awesome. It's going to be an RC truck. We're going to be giving away a truck. I'm not going to reveal it yet. But as always, thanks for watching. Please continue to be an RC fan and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to grow this channel. Like I said, we're going to do a giveaway at the first 1,000 subscribers. It's going to be awesome. I'll mail it, mail it to you along with some other little goodies for it. So thanks for watching and please come back and have an awesome day and continue to be an RC fan.